Well, I started this season uh, thinking that we we could do a really good job if we if we worked in the best of the ways. And uh, but I wasn't thinking about the championship or stuff like that. I just was thinking about working at best with my team. And uh, this is what we have done. What we have done. We we have worked at best, and we we managed to to make really great performances uh, during the first part of the championship, but also during all the championship. Well, I was I was uh, really happy after winning the first three races. Was uh, it was impressive, and I was surprised. Uh, I knew that coming back to Europe, it would have been different because you know always European track European tracks. Uh, are, are different compared to the first three overseas and uh, the feeling and the, the situation there is always a bit different and this is exactly what happened you know after uh, after uh, after the third race the third overseas we came back to Jerez and uh, I was uh, I was trying to win again uh, and uh, maybe I pushed too much and I made immediately a mistake after and uh, after that, I, I just uh, tried to regain the confidence and, uh, well, actually tried to build it up again in, uh, in the European tracks. And uh, luckily, we managed to do it in the best of the ways. And uh, we, we won a lot of races also in Europe. Well, I wasn't, still I wasn't too focused on the championship I just was focused on uh, on racing and uh, try to win races and try to make good results after after um, uh, Germany after succeeding it was a really good race for me I mean uh, my two main rivals in the championship crashed and I won the race so it was a great moment for me in the championship and uh, it was nice to go on holiday with uh, with that feeling and uh, that advantage in the championship but uh, I wasn't thinking about the championship I was just uh, uh, um, f I was just uh, enjoying that uh, that great feeling uh, I mean uh, Misano maybe was uh, was the one of the toughest moment in the championship for me because uh, it was my home races when my home race and I wanted to do good there. And I actually was doing good until until rain came on Sunday. And uh, I still wanted to be good in the in the in the race. So um, I tried to to pull away, maybe in too much short time. In a, so I made a mistake and I crashed. And uh, my opponent won. I mean, arrived second, but and at the end won the race because uh, Aguerter uh, was disqualified. So he got 25, I got zero. Uh, really bad for us. But still, I still wasn't thinking about the championship. I was still, still trying to just score points and make good results in the race. So I was just sad for uh, for the race, for the race itself. Not not I wasn't sad for the championship because. Uh, I know and I, I knew that everything could happen still, so uh, it, st it was, still was an open championship when it was 37 points after Germany and it still was an open championship when it was 9 points between me and Tom uh, after Misano. So the Aragon win was uh, really an important moment because uh, it was a race where I was starting to think about the championship and I was starting to make uh, some some strategies in the race and try try I was trying to control and uh, try to do what what was best not for the race but for the championship and uh, that race I, I managed to control my my feelings for uh, for the championship and uh, try to go for the win anyway and uh, don't risk too much and I managed to do it I managed to win the race take the risk and uh, and take 25 points home and uh, it was a really great feeling and uh, it was a nice moment. I mean, when, when we went to Japan, uh, 
me, me and Tom, we both were under pressure. We, we both are under pressure. And uh, I, I do feel it. And uh, he also feels it because uh, in Japan we were, we were starting from uh, him 12 and me 15. So it wasn't, it, it, it's not an, a usual starting position for us. But apparently um, the pressure can, uh, can trick you sometimes. So uh, in Japan, in Japan was a hard moment for me. But also from there I managed to came out pretty well because uh, I managed to uh, recover a lot of position in the race. I arrived eighth and uh, at the end I arrived also in front of Tom. So I managed also to pull away a little bit more than the championship even though we got the message that uh, Agerta was disqualified in Misano and uh, Tom got five points more. But anyway, we, we got three points on Tom after Japan and uh, after that race, after that eighth place, we were really happy. Um, when we got to Australia, we, we got a bit more clean weekend with less rain and less uh, unuseful um, practices. And uh, we managed to do a good job during the practice and uh, also in the race I was feeling good and I was feeling fast and I was able to to fight with the KTMs even though they beat me at the end I was able to fight with them and I was able to well I was able to fight more with Binder than uh, with Oliveira that pulled away but anyway I was feeling good and uh, I was fast um, I wasn't I wasn't uh, paying attention too much to the to the pressure or to being careful. I was, uh, I was trying, just trying to push at the 100% uh, and try to get the best result uh, as I could. Uh, also, also in Australia, it has been a good moment because uh, I was third in the end and uh, Tom was 10th and we managed again to, to get a, a little gap. My aim again for this weekend is to push at 100 percent and make a good work during practices and to don't pay attention too much to the pressure that I have from uh, from oh well from the championship uh, from everybody and uh, try just try to do my job and do the best that I can and uh, try to beat Tom in the race uh, uh, world championship would mean a lot for me I mean uh, it's uh, it's my fourth season in the World Championship, and uh, I am already fighting for it. This is already a great achievement for me, uh, and uh, this is what I I've been dreaming since I was a little kid, and uh, it's it's a it's a, it's already a, a good feeling to just just fight for it, and uh, to win it would be. An amazing feeling that I still don't know what I will feel. I, I would feel, but uh, for sure is a nice thing for me.